What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're gonna go over the top four signs you might be in an emotional trade. Check it out. Um, okay, so where was I? Um, Kind of lost my train of thought there. Guys, before we move further on this and start getting into this lesson, make sure you check out the links in the description section below. There's a free Discord link there. Come join me in the Discord. Be happy to trade with you and hang out over there. The room is growing rapidly and it's extremely active. So come on over to that free Discord link. Also, if you're looking for trade ideas, 15% off coupon code is down there as well in the comment section and in the description section. So make sure you take advantage of that. Now let's go ahead and jump into this lesson. Remember, help me out by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. Signs that you are in an emotional trade, right? Oftentimes, we will start off the day with enthusiasm, right? We're gonna start off the day ready to kill it, ready to have a great trading day. And we sit at our platform and we look at our charts and we see these stocks, right, that have made big moves or we see the overall market like the SPY has made a big gap up or a big gap down and we step into the day and we're like, I'm gonna kill it. Yesterday, this stock or yesterday, the SPY made this massive move and I think we're gonna have another shot at least making a portion of that same type of move move or that same size of move today and I'm going to just make a few thousand dollars. Have you ever started off your day that way? If you have, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you sit down, you sit down and you're like, yep, today is going to be or the night before it's tomorrow is going to be the day I'm going to make a few thousand bucks and it's just going to be an awesome, awesome day. And you sit at your platform and you try to like pull the trigger on the plan that you had the stock hits or, or whatever you're trading hits the level you want and you automatically jump in there. You buy a few shares, you buy a few contracts, whatever it is, whatever vehicle you're trading, you open your position. And as you open your position, it goes against you. And you're like, wait, maybe I'm a little bit too early. That's okay, I'll hold on a little bit longer. And then it keeps going against you. And you're like, hmm, why is this not working out? And that's when the emotions start to kick in. You stop out of it on that first trade. You come back to it and you hit it a second time. You stop out again. And now you're in a regular size red day. But what happens is you take a third trade, you get stopped out yet again. And now you've gone from being a regular size red day to a little bit deeper red, but still somewhat manageable for you. You're like, wait a second, I can't be red. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna wait for another opportunity. You jump in again and yet again, you have not analyzed correctly and the stock goes against you, the trade goes against you. And now you're like, well, if I sell out here and I get stopped out, this is gonna be a big red day. So you say to yourself, nah, I'm right, this is gonna come back down or it's gonna go back up. Whatever direction you want the, the, the vehicle to go into, it doesn't do it. You think it will, but it doesn't, it goes against you. And you start averaging down on a loser. You start averaging down on a loser and all of a sudden you find yourself in a deep hole with a horrible average and a way bigger position than you ever expected it to be. Why? Because you refused to adhere to your plan. You refused to be red on the day because you heard about everybody else that made thousands upon thousands of dollars the prior day. So you refuse, you refuse to adhere to your rules. And not only have you not stopped out, but you've averaged down on a losing trade. You've averaged down on a losing trade. So now you're in this open position and you haven't noticed it yet, but it's emotional trading. What are the signs that tell you this is emotional trading? Well, the very first sign is going to be tunnel vision. You don't see anything else but this chart ahead of you or the tape. You don't see anything else, nothing. You're only solely focused on one thing. It's either going to be something like the tape, the level two, or maybe the one candlestick at a time. You're not looking at overall trends. You're not looking at volume. You're not looking at anything else but just one singular facet of a sea of technical analysis you are missing that is screaming this trade isn't what you want it to be, right? So you're just tunnel vision. That's number one. That is the first sign that you're in an emotional trade. You get tunnel vision. The second sign is going to be sitting on the edge of your seat. Truly, 
Truly, it is. You get up, you, you get up and you start getting closer to the edge of your seat. You get closer, you hunch over. Have you never noticed that some of your best trades, some of your best trades that did have not did not have any emotions behind them, you're just sitting back in your chair setting up or hitting your you're sitting hitting your hot keys or clicking your mouse you're just sitting back in your chair you're relaxed you're calm cool and collected trading the trade plan some of your very best trades some of your worst trades have you sitting at the edge of your seat at the edge of your seat think about it right even on some of your good trades that you get stopped out on you're sitting normal you're relaxed in your chair but these emotional trades, they got you sitting at the edge of your seat, physically, not emotionally. You're literally sitting at the edge of your chair at your desk, okay? Or you're hunched over your desk, right? Like this, boom. So you're hunched over the desk or you're sitting at the edge of your chair. You're, you're uncomfortable, right? Because it's an emotional trade. So you have tunnel vision. You're sitting at the edge of your chair or the third sign would be cold sweats yes you know and you might even laugh because you just thought about that one time that you were sitting at the edge of your chair with tunnel vision sweating cold because you're well above your risk parameter you're averaged down into oblivion on a losing trade and you're actually looking at your unrealized pnl and it's probably one of the biggest numbers you've ever seen on, a, on that unrealized pnl ever ever so you start sweating cold you really do almost like you got the flu you're just sitting there and you're so uncomfortable you're sweating cold right you're at the edge of your chair you have tunnel vision all three signs three signs that you are in an emotional trade but you choose to ignore them we've all been there at one point or another i know i have i know i have in the past on my biggest tri on my biggest red day ever when i lost about forty five hundred dollars trading tesla all right a few years back that was horrible that was horrible it was like a year or two years back something like that i'd have to go look at my stats my biggest red day ever i've never had a bigger red day than that and that's because no one is exempt from having horrible days and going on tilt no one is exempt from that the difference between an experienced trader and an inexperienced trader is how quickly they notice they're on tilt and they're able to whoa pull the reins back sit back in the saddle and uh, kind of shut it down until they get under control again that's the difference between an experienced and an inexperienced trader it's not that an experienced trader never goes on tilt it's that the experienced trader will recognize these signs much quicker and this is why i'm putting this video out there as well as going over it live here on the discord with you guys so you have tunnel vision you have sitting on the edge of your seat and you have sweating cold so what's the final piece of the puzzle and this one might not hold true for everyone, but I suspect it kind of holds true at one level or another for everyone at the same time, right? And that's praying. You're sitting there in that position and you're either like, please, 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 please. Or you're literally like, please, God, make this go in my direction. Let me at least try to get out break even. <laughs> yeah, it gets close to break even. You still don't get out of the trade because now greed takes over. You're, if you ever find yourself in that position where you're just sitting there on your chair and in a position and you're like please 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 pop back up please pop you're begging for that position to go in your favor you're in an emotional trade you're in an emotional trade and you've probably already gone over all of these you've probably already averaged on the loser you've sat at the edge of your chair you've sweat cold you've probably done all of that you know and that right there is what shows you you are an emotional trade you are in an emotional position there is no technical analysis telling you you should be in this as a matter of fact the technical analysis if you're looking at it from a neutral standpoint is screaming get out and get out half an hour ago because you're doing horrible right now so these are some of the signs tunnel vision sitting at the edge of your chair, sweating cold, and praying for that trade to come back in your favor. If you ever find yourself feeling any of this when you're in a trade, please take a step back, reevaluate that chart, and make sure that it's not an emotional trade. Because if it is, my opinion, exit it and exit it fast. All right, guys, so that's it for me here. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what signs tell you that you're in an emotional trade. Remember to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. Also, I stream Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Check out the free Discord link in the description and comment section, and I'll catch you on the next one.